on fire. They're literally escorting us out the building. <laughs> Good morning! You already know what time it is. It's time to go on another trip and y'all, we are going to Hawaii. I can only imagine that I'm actually living dreams, but it's not imagining, it's reality for real, for real. But anyways, let me not confuse you people. I have a flight at 6 a.m. It's 2 a.m. and literally I have been awake since January 9th. It's currently January 11th. No sleep. Okay, let me tell you something. I have been doing so much stuff, running so much errands, getting like appointments done. So much things that I literally did not sleep. I even cleaned my whole house before leaving because it's nice to come back to a clean house. Like everybody knows like when you travel, come back to a clean house, it gotta be the best thing ever. Especially when you smell the aromas, the sweetness, when you step inside like, mm, yeah. But I literally have been awake since 2 p.m. on January 9th. It is literally January 11th. I don't even know how much hour that is. Let me calculate. I'm gonna just pop the number up. But anyways, that is insane. So I am literally going to rest when I get to Hawaii. Like I am not playing any games. Like this trip is really gonna be a mindful and rest trip. I'm not gonna overextend myself like how I do on trips and just plan so much things. I'm just gonna go with the flow and be more in tune with myself. It's 2024 and I am starting the year off with peace of mind, okay? I'm telling you, like, I'm not here for the iffiness, the messiness, the foolishness. I just want to vibe. And I enjoy myself in my 20s. Like, hello. So I'll see you guys. Y'all know the rest when I see you guys. <laughs> this why do i feel like i'm in a basement why are there bars at the check-in area this is not okay <laughs> but i'm early as a bad bitch should be because i didn't want to miss this flight y'all already know i re i really be early for my flights i've never really missed a flight early in the morning that's why i love morning flights they just like you start your day off right you know what i'm saying like I can ne I don't know, I hope I never miss a flight because I'll be actually distraught. But here I am, bright and early, waiting on concierge, but we'll see how long this takes because normally they open like around four or something. I'm currently sitting down a baggage claim. Check-in starts, well I'm already checked in, but I just need to give them my bag. It starts at four. They said 345, but I'm, I'm assuming there's four. So I'm gonna sit my pretty ass down and practice. I got rid of my coat that hoe away because I'm not about to be traveling with that on but she's gonna be in my check-in bag until she gets to Hawaii because it's cold as hell outside and I was not trying to just come out here naked so I had to put a little coat on but I'm gonna wear her back when we get back to New York so yeah let's see Yeah, it's over Just five, two. four pounds, if you can take out like two pounds. Okay, okay, okay. Okay guys, let me just give y'all the 401 what just happened. 
it broke my bag. So obviously I was at baggage claim services and we got it situated but I have to fill out some stuff because this is like my fifth or sixth bag that Delta has broken. Like no joke. But anyways, um, got that situated and now I'm currently going to take a shuttle to my hotel because I'm staying at the Marriott in Waikiki Beach. So I'm waiting for the shuttle. Let me show you. You can't really see the sign but that's the sign. I'm waiting for that and then we're going to be at the hotel but guys, why am I so daft? I'm not really but like I did not know there was a six hour time difference and I thought my flight from Atlanta was going to be four hours. It was nine. So I don't know why my conception of time has literally just like left my brain. This trip but it's actually insane because I'm literally sleep deprived and I can't tell the difference in time. It's actually getting concerning. I'm a blogger. I'm a blogger. Blogger? Yeah. <laughs> to the room y'all like she's giving exactly what she needs to okay don't play but apparently I have an ocean view I don't know what it looks like yet I don't even know how to open this thing but she's gonna hit in the morning so let's should I open it now I want to put my shoes on though I'll open it later oh Sheila Okay, we gonna look at that after because she given. All right, I wanted to save the bathroom for last because y'all already know if the mirror don't eat. Y'all, why is this? Yeah, and the full body. Okay, Mary, you doing your big one. Thank you. Hold on, uh, because the bathroom eats. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, they got a bodé in here? I don't even use that. Like, I've had a terrible experience with bodés. But, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I I hate it. We'll work with her. Period. Ah! We Hawaii! <laughs> yeah, I had to put the cracks on. But y'all. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, what? Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Like, I just know in the morning, oh, this is about to hit 10 times harder. Apparently, this wasn't even supposed to be my room. She literally upgraded my room because apparently I had a city view, basically just seeing buildings. And she said she's gonna give me an ocean view. The only down is that you don't get two, you don't get one queen bed, you get two full size beds. I heard of like twins, but she was like, it's full size. And I was like, okay, okay, yeah. So guys, we're in Hawaii. And obviously today is literally a day that has not been planned. So we are going to look for a masseuse, look for some place where you can get some massages. I think this hair is supposed to be here. That's why I'm looking at my head like, what the fuck? Um, we are going to look to see if they have any massage options available because girl, I came here to be thaw today. I want to thaw out, okay? I just want to take everything in. I always say that, but literally that's really what I want to do. And I want to do that in the most restful way possible. So here we are in Hawaii, just looking at the ocean. Okay, anyways, just looking at the ocean. Lydia, I'm about to sit my black ass down, read some Verity. I said restful, right? Hold on. But yeah, I am going to. I'm done. I'm just going to rest, but I'm going to figure out what I'm doing for tonight. But literally, this is like the room. I don't know how wide this door opens, but you know, you go in. And boom, the room. It's like 7 p.m. right now, and apparently because of that, you know, time difference, I didn't really recognize that it's late. 
we're gonna get something to eat and practically just like explore what the resort has because apparently there's so much amenities and apparently they even have activities within the resort so i will be booking some of that and scheduling that and sometimes most of them are free so we'll see what we can work with i don't think i can get any massages for tonight because it is late so that's a bummer but that can happen we're gonna be here for like five days we have time i couldn't even get to finish everything i was saying to you guys at the airport because some guy like old man i hate men like i really do like they make me so uncomfortable it's not even a joke like i have been feeling like there's never a time i go outside and not feel uncomfortable because of men. it's actually sad but he was literally harassing me i literally stopped the video because he kept on asking me questions and you know i was being polite and answering them to the best of my abilities without giving away too much like his questions started getting personal and stuff like that but he was saying things to me and i was like um you're a grown man like regardless you should not be talking to anybody like that like like i understand compliments are compliments but like the way he was saying things it was just not it just disgusting but i literally was so glad when leo was like hey renee you're here Shut up, you're i got up so quick and i did not even say anything to him even though he kept on talking to me like it was really bad but Apart from that, the plane ride was fine. Like, honestly, truly, I slept here and there, but it was uncomfortable trying to sleep. And my my freaking neighbor, I thought she was racist at first, but she wasn't apparently. Well, she could have been, but I don't know. But she was chatting up a storm with me towards the end, like, really bad. She even told me she self-medicated before coming on the flight because she was so nervous and anxious, and she hasn't flown in 15 years. So... You gotta get a girl a little, little, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying, like, she was under a lot of pressure, I guess, so she's just trying to make it safe. But, <laughs> we're in Hawaii, let's go and explore the hotel. So it looks like you have to get outside of the hotel in order to go see these restaurants, because I couldn't find them inside the restaurant. I went inside the hotel. They literally said they had no reservations on open table and look here I am just by walking in. It is actually nice here so I'm eating Italian food tonight. It's actually really nice outside. It is a little like windy. Um, it was raining earlier but I'm starting to realize it always rains my first day on my solo trips which is very odd. There is some type of saying for that as well. I don't know but anyways let's see what this food's going for. I don't know, the type of spaghetti or pasta, I should say, that you get with it. She looks neat. I don't know if you can see, but she looks good. You guys probably can't see because Canada's a focus for shit. But I want to eat it without anything first and then we'll taste it. Of course. That good. They give red pepper flakes. I'm not a spicy person, but I'm definitely gonna try. I got some parmesan in there, so that's actually taking. But Cheryl, this is really good. That was some good food. Like that literally was some good food. My waiter was literally the cutest. But we are on to get some shaved ice. There is literally the best shaved ice in Hawaii and Japan. Well, Japan is what I first taste the best shaved ice. But if Hawaii can beat that. We'll see. Like, when I tell you, the shaved ice in Japan is literally unmatched. So we're gonna walk to the shaved ice place and then see whether or not it's hidden, okay?
pineapple <laughs> with condensed milk because they do that in Hawaii. So let's go in. Walking downtown and I'm okay. They're so cute. Just got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm living. But I don't really care what they all say. I am back in the hotel, guys. Got some goodies from ABC store. Honestly, truly, these are some cute pieces that I literally. I don't know if I'll ever like use this as much, but I'm definitely gonna use this in Hawaii, obviously. This is a coin purse, but it gets even better. I literally got a friend like a handheld mirror. It gets better. There's a mirror. You see y'all? That's y'all right there. <laughs> a beach towel, cause I literally told myself before, pack your beach towel. Guess who still didn't pack their beach towel? And I also got this for my friend. She loves pineapples for some reason, so got this for her. It's actually really cute, and it says Hawaii. It says Hawaii, and it also says like it says, it says Aloha. So <laughs> that's that. Just a few stuff. I am literally gonna get ready for bed and hit the hay. I feel like the sleep that I'm gonna get tonight is going to be the best sleep of the year because I literally am still up and I still have not really gotten a good night's rest in like two to three days. So. Yeah, so that's good night for me. <laughs> Why was I plucking out my right eye so bad last night? Like this is not okay. Like I don't even have lash left in that right eye. <laughs> Aloha. Good morning from Hawaii, y'all. Honestly, outside doesn't look too bad, but I am ready. I'll show y'all the outfit. I'm gonna get my toes done. I left my toes in New York like real bad because I did not get to do them because I had so much stuff to do like I literally had so much stuff to do not just get ready for the trip like there was literally appointments that I had to take care of with my dog like with work it was just a lot but here we are we're gonna head to the nail salon I do want to go to the Waikiki Beach today and we're also gonna see fireworks at Waikiki Beach tonight but I don't want to tell you guys the whole itinerary because like I said this is a restful trip so whatever happens happens I have more fun with being random, you know, it's spontaneous, so let's take on the day. separate ones oh yeah, yeah of course okay thank you and then uh, it's uh, over the cliff place so you can see the whales if you good, good oh, timing wow. they come here for the um, have the babies after the babies they oh. go back yeah? and then if you want a short break uh, swim break by Manalo, Lanikai and Kailua yeah I'm going to Lanikai Lani this one Kai, yeah Lanikai doesn't have a bathroom or a oh
back in the hotel. And y'all, I, I lie to you not, it was sunny outside. I literally stepped on the balcony because I opened it up. And I'm like, where did this fog come from? Child, why the hell? Why? Why is it actually raining right now? Like, everyone has left the pool. Like, it's actually raining. And I did not know it was gonna rain. I was literally gonna probably go to the Waikiki Beach, chill there. I was considering it because I was like, it was kind of windy a little bit. And I was like, I don't want to be out there in my bikini. It's cold. Ciao. Why is it raining? I thought it wasn't gonna rain for the next couple of days. Now I gotta do something indoors. But it's okay, I honestly have not gotten over this fit. <laughs> so I'm gonna find out what I can do. And this is why I say guys, it's okay to not plan your trips here and there because you know, you never know what could arise. Like I don't know how long it's gonna rain, I don't know how gloomy it's gonna get, but like at least I have nothing reserved outside. So whew, let's go see what we can do. All right, girlies. Remember that massage I was gonna do yesterday? It is booked and ready <laughs> for today. So therefore, we're gonna get ourselves handed and wiped down, okay? Cause I need it and then I might plop down to the pool. So today might, you know, pick up, but you might plop down to the pool. The weather is getting better. You with me? Might go downstairs and get myself dipped as well after my massage, so. <laughs> Let's hope this facade goes well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flying around at the top of baby, we've been driving around for some time. I think we should slow it, slow it down, down, baby. Cause you might have missed the sun. You say it's bad. sleep marks on my face yeah that was actually good my moose was literally so adorable i'm gonna head to my room put on a bathing suit and come out and apparently they have two different pools a main pool and an adults only pool so this is the main pool and then the adults only is on the other side so i'm gonna get ready for that and then head over okay outfit change Yup. Um, I bought these today at the ABC store. There was um, this one and another glasses. Another shades. Yeah. Like, she eats them. Ruin it. So. <laughs> Ruin it. My beach bag. Looking real cute. Giving some net on net situation. Low key, if you really look my scrunchie, I don't even know if you guys can see it. Matches my beach bag. So, there's always gonna be some type of pink on me. Don't play. <laughs> No time for life and I need more life and it's more money in my life today. God on my side today, can't decide oh. Whether it's the honey and nice, can't decide oh. Whether that we gon' cool my mind. Really That's why Justin so like, I was like, this is the way more that I eat. You should actually talk. No, I didn't go over there for this year. Yeah. So, I don't know if you're gonna clear out, because like, I've been watching them and they've been there for hours, like, in my room. Because I was like, okay, let me wait for it to chill out. They've been there for hours. No stress, no enemy. That boy used to be a friend of me. So what she sent to me Say me can't let them boy get to me I'm in the mood I'm in the mega mood High life Get that way Tough life far away from you I wanna see the view Watch the world I wanna be on beach side in Cancun Tell me what you wanna do Yeah. Anywhere me go Know the gang go Been long 
since I reached back home. Remember days he was on a back road. The workers let me heat it up first. They asked me if I could warm it. I said, okay, yeah. They said it won't burn in the plastic. I hope not. The Muslim is good. <laughs> Gosh, what the hell happened? What's going on? <laughs> Guys, all I wanted was lip gloss and Victoria's Secret literally is on fire. They're literally escorting us out the building. <laughs> what the heck? Well, at least I got my lip gloss, right? <laughs> no, I <laughs> Listen. That's a big bird right there. And there's more tiny ones right there. These are literally everywhere in the world. store again they have some really cute stuff like what is this and if this is the roll on lip gloss what an era like I'm really gonna buy this like I feel like I should get this because this is so freaking cute this is all her fault like I'm spending money in this store again all her fault I am good at it. she really is like she needs a raise, she needs a raise. I'm back in the hotel you know what, let's do a balcony brief. I feel like I always do balcony briefs, like I'm always talking y'all on a balcony. Like, that's kind of like iconic. <laughs> let's do a balcony brief because, yeah. Outside is not too bad. Oh, yeah, she's not bad. But, hi y'all, ooh. Yeah, this is iconic. My forehead looks too big, like, I need to cover her. <laughs> Cover her. Something is wrong. Oh my god, something is wrong. But let's get to it. Um, today was kind of chill. I feel like I did just enough stuff today. I haven't been talking much to the camera while I'm outside because I still I'm kind of a little awkward vlogging on the camera. Like when people are around, I feel like I didn't do bad when I was in Japan because you know like the chances of you like walking into people who understand English with like you know kind of there kind of not it's like you're in Hawaii which is also a state of the US so like people speak Hawaiian here and English so it's pretty common they're gonna understand what you're saying and it's like like I don't know I've been getting so much stares from people it's so uncomfortable like <laughs> Like I have had people like stare at me and then they come to me and then they finally tell me why they were staring at me and I'm like, okay, thank you. But Jesus Christ, I don't know if I have their outfit on, but gee, I did miss the fireworks because apparently they were like 30 minutes that way and I was trying to walk um, to where it was, but it was like the time I was gonna get there was gonna be over. So I was like, let me just do things in the meantime. So I basically, looked around, I went to Victoria's Secret. I don't know if they were burning down or something, but while I was in there, everything was fine until we heard this alarm start going off. And 
I, I looked at the cashier. She looked at me. She's like, it's fine. You don't got to worry. Then we saw the fire department team come. Like, I was like, yeah, no. I am out. I thought it was like, you know, alarms for people walking out the door with sensors still on. Honey, it was for a fire alarm. I basically was walking and I, you know, I was like, we should get dinner before we come back to the hotel. So we ended up at Marimoto. And I guess that's like a really good Asian restaurant. It was I. I really like the sticky ribs though. I'm not gonna lie, the sticky ribs, they ate down. I realized there's a lot of Asian people in Hawaii. Why is that? Like, I am actually curious because most of them, they speak Japanese, they speak Korean, and I'm like, I really am curious of like why that is. That's actually really cool. Um, it wasn't as hot today. And I realized like Hawaii hasn't been hot. I don't know if it's because I was tortured by the Japanese sun that I'm expecting my next trip to be just as scolding, but it really wasn't that bad. So here I am on the balcony. I am going to literally get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you when I see